All right, so today we're going to take a quick look at um, starting our fraction division, and we're going to do so using models so that we can see what is actually happening while we're dividing. So if you think about division, is there's usually different types of division. So there's division where we are making groups of a certain size, um, or there is division where we are making a certain number of groups. So for example, if I gave you a question like, I have 12 people in the classroom, and I want to know how many groups of four, right? So there's 12 people, and I want to make four groups. I want to know how many people I can get per group. Um, so this would be like three people per group. That's one type of division. And then another type would be like, I have 12 people, and I want to put them in groups where there are four people per group. So I want to know how many groups I could get. And in this case, it would be three groups. Now, number-wise, the questions look very much the same, but they actually mean different types of things. So that's something that we have to think about as we are going through and working on this division as to when we're making those problems visual. When we start to think about fraction division itself, what we are then thinking about is that second part of making groups a certain size. So a lot of those problems that we were working on in our small groups were doing just that. Um, so without getting into the word problems themselves, we're just going to look at modeling to see how that would look. For example, if I had, say, four cups of lemonade, um, and I wanted to divide it into um, pitchers of lemonade that use two-fifths of a cup. Every time I make a pitcher, I want to know how many pitchers of lemonade that I could make. To do this visually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with what I have. So in this case, I have four cups. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw out those four holes. Okay. Since I am putting them into groups that are two-fifths, what would make sense is then I'm going to use this and I'm going to actually going to divide or split each of my holes into fifths so I can look at what I have. Now when we look at it this way, and a few of you showed this in some of the practice that you did, um, if we look at number of pieces, I now have four total cups that have each been split into five pieces. So in other words, I have 20 pieces or 20 fifths that I'm now going to divide into groups of two fifths. And to help show this, I'm actually going to use colors. So I'm just going to count out two fifths at a time. So, one-fifth, two-fifth, that would be my first group. And then I can show two-fifths there. Now, I have this one-fifth left right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to use that part as my first fifth. And then I'm just going to come to the second part. And then I'm just going to kind of keep repeating that process as I go through. showing my different groups. Now ideally I would have more colors, but I only have four colors to choose from as I'm going through. And now what I can do is go through and count how many pictures I made, and each time I barred two of those pieces together, I was making a picture. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in the end, we end up with ten pictures 
of lemonade that we can make and we did this visually with this model. So now I'm going to give you an example that I would like you to work with um, by pausing the video, trying out on your own, and then checking your work. On this one, what we're going to do is we're just going to use um, 12, and we're going to divide it into groups that are the size 2 thirds. So like I said, I want you to pause the video, try out the model, and then check your work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making my 12 groups. And as you start going through this, you will find ways that are more efficient, which is totally fine. Obviously, that's what we want to work towards. But for these beginning parts, we really want to show and build our thinking. So I have my 12 different items, and I'm going to split them into thirds. And even if you find shortcuts as you're going, um, if you want to write out an explanation of what you did and how you used your shortcut, that's totally fine. And then I'm just going to start highlighting my groups of two thirds using my different colors to help show my thinking. I really like doing these in the classroom because then we usually have lots of different color options. But we will make do with what we have. Right, and then once again, we just go ahead and count our groups. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And then one thing I'll always remind you to do as well is also think about does your answer make sense or is it reasonable in this situation? So here, um, we hopefully are recognizing that our answer should be over 12 because we're starting with 12 but we're making groups that are less than one because for example if I did 12 and I made my groups oops um where each group was one 12 divided by one would be 12 so I should have at least 12 groups um, so it would be reasonable that our answer would be more than that or if I did 12 in half right which would be less than two-thirds um, that would be two per every item, and that would be 24. So 18 it seems like a really reasonable answer in this situation.